my new greetings Sam experts. Uh, this time also I'm going to talk about general topics that can be applied for all uh, SAM modules. Uh, specifically for basis uh, junior, uh, junior consultants, it's very important for them to, to know this seven secrets of transportation requests and if you know them it will facilitate the, the use of transportation requests and give you more flexibility in using transportation requests. Uh, I'm going first to talk about the general concept of transportation requests and the business case related to each and every uh, functional uh, tip and the trick that I'm going to speak about, like how to release, uh, how to unrelease released transportation requests how to merge two transportation requests, how to display the objects inside transportation requests, how to add extra objects inside transportation requests, how to add additional user or assign totally different user or delete the transportation request. If you know these uh, tips and tricks, I think that you can use uh, transportation request functionality much more effectively. Let's, let's start with the first um, first uh, tips that you are going to take today it's how to unrelease release the transportation request first the transportation request is a tool that SAP used and considered as a pool that contains all objects and tables modifications that you do during simple configuration this means that once you do some configuration, all the changes in the tables behind is affected, included in this transportation request. And is it mandatory to have transportation request? This is based on client um, client setting. If this client allowing the transportation request, in this case, yes, it's mandatory to include your changes in transportation request. And this minimize uh, the risk of transport any unneeded configuration or do any kind of modifications in table that can affect the production system. This means that if I am using transportation requests for development quality and production, this means that the three systems are synchronized and tested at the same time in quality system and follow the standard procedure for how to transport or do a changes in your system and minimize the risk of unauthorized incorrect configurations that may be done. This is regarding the general concept of transportation request. But what if I release transportation request? Transportation request is being modifiable at the start, but once I, I finish my configuration on this transportation request. I can release it. This means that I can I can send it to any other environment, like quality environment. But if it's released, it's no longer uh, possible to do changes in this transportation request. However, there is a trick that we are going to do now in the demo that shows how to unrelease it back and continue our configuration. Let's start was how to unrelease release transportation request. I'll go first to my system. Let's display it. Let's stop this. Sorry. Here, as you can see, that I'm going to go to the client settings the client settings let's double click on our client i'm not talking too much about the client settings and what here there is automatic recording of the changes this means that this this client decided it's allowed to have transportation request or tr i'll do small modification now in the configuration oba7 our favorite configuration and the easiest and I'll take a copy from any document type. Let's take document type B and save it. 
Now I'll create a new transportation request. Let's go document type 2 and save it. Once saved, it generates automatically a new number, which is a pool that contains all my modification. I'll go to SE10, SE09, SE01, Permara, and I'll display modifiable transportation requests. Here I can find this transportation request ends with 92, is still modifiable. I'm going to release it now. I'm gonna release the header also. And try to do additional configuration for the same transportation request. Let's go to return back and go to OBA7 again. Okay, let's display it back. It's now removed from modifiable. I return back and display release transportation request. making sure that it's released totally now it's included under released and released transportation requests let's go to OP A7 now it's released everything is looking fine I'll take a copy from this transportation request and go to OP A7 and try to make a modification with the same released transportation requests OP A7 now I'm going to copy to document type C, I'll press enter. When I'm trying to save with the same transportation request, as you can see now, it's already been released. As you can see in the error message, I'm requesting another transportation request. I cancel this and I'll go to SA38 and go to specific program. Let's consider a security. I, I, I asked a lot of uh, junior basis consultants, they may don't know this piece of information. Uh, let's go to again yeah, overview of requests. Okay, it's, it's wrong. I, I missed this zero. Let me return back. Okay. I'll add zero here. It's RDD IT zero seven. I run this. I'll add my transportation request here. I paste it. I run. Give me the status SR, which means released, already released. Now it's time to unrelease it. I'll double click for the request, my request, and the task also. This request type is customizing request and normal. And I'll go to the status R release. I'll set it as D which means modifiable this is for the header request and i'll do the same thing for the task under this transportation request i'll change modify let's check this is q means customizing task under our, our request and i'll modify this to be modifiable i will save the transportation request I return back. I've already saved it during that. And let's go to SE10 and see what happens to this transportation request. I'll display released one again. Nothing included as you can see here. I return back. I'll select modifiable. Let me remove released. I'll display all transportation requests. Here you can find it returned back as a modifiable. Now if I do additional configuration for this transportation request, it will be included. This ensures that all my uh, ensuring that all my modifications can be uh, sorted in the correct uh, transportation request. And this reduces the duplication of unneeded transportation requests. This is for the part one. Let's go to the second demo for today. It's I'll display my transportation requests again. 
and both of them are modifiable if I double click I can see here a key and this key if I press on this it show me each and every table and how, what is the key of the changes happens on this table here for example the change on table T003 and T003T if I go to SE16 I can find this modification simply include it here I'll take this transportation request and press add the object here and I'll double click again to see the modifications objects uh, modification inside this transportation request if I press this key indicator it will show me all modifications inside the table I can see now in T003 table there is uh, modification A document type A and document type B and uh, description in T003 which is thickest the modification happens in thickest for both document type A and document type B and once I transport or modify transport trans transfer or add the uh, old transportation requests request object into another one here I am gonna show how to delete the old one after making sure that everything is fine I don't need this transportation request again I'll select it press delete I'll select yes now only one transportation request here and this transportation request as you can see if I display the objects let's include all the objects for both transportation requests and now I go to different point that for this transportation objects I can display all maintenance data inside from another area like like as you can see that there is table T003 and text and there is objects listed from another request objects was added and here is the old request that I added from it and here there is the objects added in view maintenance data which contain two tables as you can see by the way in this table in the, there is a view with this table if I go to SM30 uh, let's see this uh, after a while uh, if I go to SM30 I can do the configuration in full for this here if I press assign a new user I can in hand over uh, processes I can just remove myself from this requests and assign it to a new user or I can create a new user for a new task under the same transportation request this may give me a control over my team if I'm team leader that no one is creating request without returning back to me and here as you can see I can do merging in, the, in this merging the first request will be deleted after transporting this however I do prefer adding a new objects and delete the old one to make sure that all my objects are in correct way thank you this is the tips uh, for or secrets for transportation requests I wish it's very useful for you thank you and see you later